All right, so let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the sleeping space. This was the focus of the van. We built everything based on the sleeping space first. Um, so what I mean by that is we wanted to make sure that despite it being a camper van, uh, that it was very comfortable to sleep in, that you got a very plush sleeping experience. Uh, the way that we did that and achieved that was one, we included a uh, Tempur-Pedic style mattress uh, with a cooling feature. Uh, so even though it's memory foam, it keeps you very cool at night. Um, we've got fans in multiple locations so that if it is warm out like it is today, you can get great ventil uh, ventilation. Um, thirdly, we have a down comforter on there. Um, highly recommend going that route with the down comforter. Uh, big pillows, very cushy, fluffy space. Um, more so, what we decided was to use a full-size queen bed. Uh, you can see that it narrows up over here. Uh, it's just a little bit of the space. It really doesn't seem to affect um, sleeping in terms of being able to roll over, have room. Um, but for the most part, you've got a, a, a full, uh, you can sit up, you can lounge up there, you can watch a movie. There's a place to put an iPad or to, uh, to mount a TV. Um, so that's very well. We thought that you could spend a lot of space, up, or a lot of time up there and be very comfortable. Um, another feature of the bed that I thought was the coolest was its ability to move to two different heights. So what I mean by that is the top of the bed is right here right now. Uh, we can move the bed up a notch so that the top of the bed rests right here. And what that allows us to do is create a bunk space for one person, but allow room underneath for other space. Uh, and you can use that other space several different ways. One, uh, you can fit a full-size motorcycle in the back uh, and still sleep in the, in the bed up there. Two, you could put another bed down here by just adding a board across our benches uh, and putting a second queen size bed, which would allow sleeping for three or four people. Um, you can also go ahead and move that up and then just make more room. You could sit down there, turn this into a cafe room. The table that's right here can spin around underneath there. You can use it as a additional seating space for people. Or what you can do is you can take this frame, it's just a modular aluminum frame, it's very lightweight, you slide the bed out of the back, you take the frame right out of the back, and you've got this whole open space with two bench seats so that you can have a little bit more of a tailgate experience uh, or a nice place to warm up on a ski day. Um, so it's very modular and very uh, interchangeable in this bedding area. Um, lastly, and you can't see it right now, but over there in the corner is a nine by 25 window. That window, while open, allows great ventilation. So when you, when you, um, ventilation, Vent ventilation. So um, I think I said that twice. So there's ventilation where the max air fan right above our head goes ahead and sucks air out through the window and brings that breeze right across the sleepers, uh, as well as having the, the fan up in the corner, which is just gonna provide a really good cross breeze, which we thought was mandatory for hot days like today, which I should be using that right now.